Welcome back to ZOS Introduction. This is the 11th video in the series. The objective of this video is to describe ZOS dataset naming rules and the different ZOS dataset types. Dataset names must not exceed 44 characters, including all name segments and periods, where name segments are separated by a period. A dataset name can be from one to a series of 22 joint name segments. Each name segment represents a level of qualification. For example, the dataset name DEPT58.Smith.Data3 is composed of three name segments. The first name on the left, DEPT58 in this example, is called the high level qualifier. The last name, Data3, is the low level qualifier. Each name segment or qualifier is one to eight characters, and the first character must be alphabetic, A to Z, or national, pound sign, at sign, or dollar sign. The remaining seven characters are either alphabetic, national, numeric, or a hyphen. ZOS is different from other operating systems in a number of ways. One way is how ZOS defines, reads, and writes data sets. Other operating systems manage data records as a stream of bytes. ZOS manages data records with a defined record size. A ZOS dataset is a collection of records where each record has a defined length. Other operating systems read files as a stream of bytes and use the carriage return line feeding characters embedded in the stream of bytes to, de to designate a new line in the stream of data. A logical record with a defined length is the basic unit of information used by a program running on ZOS. As mentioned in the previous chart, datasets consist of records with defined lengths. When all records in a dataset are of equal length, then the dataset record format attribute is F for fixed. When a dataset attribute is fixed, then a programmer's request for a record results in only one record being read from the dataset and placed into memory for the program to read. A record format of FB, fixed block, are equal length records. However, a program's request for a record results in a block being read from the dataset and that block is placed into memory anticipating that the program wants to read more than a single record. When the records in the dataset are varying lengths, then the dataset record format attribute is V for variable. Each variable length record begins with the length of the record. A record format of VB variable block will have each block begin with the length of the block and each record in the block begin with the length of the record. A special record format of U undefined is commonly used for executable modules where ZOS understands how these records making up an executable program are to be read into processing memory. Learning ZOS includes an understanding of the different types of datasets. Each of the ZOS dataset types have unique characteristics. The most common types of ZOS datasets fall into two categories, non-VSAM and VSAM. The ZOS introduction video series will include short videos exploring sequential datasets, partition datasets, and vSAM datasets. ZOS data management has 50 plus years of advancements developing features and functions to manage the world's most critical data. The DFSMS, or Data Facility Storage Management Subsystem component of ZOS is all about data management. Knowing about the DFSMS acronym is important to locate the ZOS professional documentation. The ZOS Internet Library has a DFSMS bookshelf with the professional documentation related to ZOS data management. In summary, you can now describe ZOS dataset naming rules and the different ZOS dataset types, which includes attributes such as fixed and variable logical record lens and record formats. DFSMS, Data Facility Storage Management Subsystem, is the ZOS data management component. Thank you for your time.